senior fine arts major here, um, concentrating in painting. So this is a piece I did over the summer, um, tentatively titled The Lake. Um, basically what I was trying to do with this was to convey kind of um, some kind of childhood memory, um, nostalgic moment that everybody can kind of relate to. Um, so basically what's going on is up in the left hand corner there is a figure kind of jumping into um, the lake, the water, he's kind of cut off. Um, there's another figure on the right hand side, very small, with a life preserver on. Um, those are kind of the acting um, people in there. Um, but yeah, so all of the elements, I think, kind of, I was trying to get them to come together in this strange way. Um, the colors are quite natural, the trees are almost kind of like prehistoric in their form. Um, yet I wanted it to be this kind of like present and engaging moment at the same time. So you have like kind of the past and the present coming together um, in this way. Okay, so this painting also tentatively titled The Boat Painting, because I can't think of anything right now. But I started with um, the general idea that I wanted to convey some kind of like journey or passage. Um, the journey like to or from some place kind of ambiguous is like a motif that I'm really drawn to in movies and books that I've read. So as you can see there's this empty kind of pinkish red boat canoe thing right um, on the left in front of you. Um, I started off with a sketch that had kind of a, a boat occupied by two people going towards a similar similar mountains, but I decided to like eliminate the people and hopefully um, people can like viewers can kind of like put themselves in that place and figure out where this is going for them and whatnot. Um, yeah, and I made um, changes from my original sketch, kind of putting these closed in walls um, around the boat making it kind of a claustrophobic space, but it has this window opening onto the sky, which is sort of a, a feature that you'll see in a lot of like landscape paintings throughout art history, so I liked having that tradition in there. Um, and again, I, I really like using non-traditional, non-realistic, per se, colors. So, um, you know, the, the pink on the water and this weird gray and heightened purple on the front. Um, it's not totally real, but and it kind of gives it that eerie quality to it that I really like. Um, yeah, and that's basically it for this one.